Good morning viewers and welcome to Organic Farm at Home. The reason why I say it's holidays for vegetable shops is like if you are growing your own vegetables, obviously it will be holidays for them, isn't it? So I said it in that context. So the one which you saw was like a, a bottle guard and this one is actually a proper bottle guard. The other one is actually a round variety. I mean, of course, they are still uh, they taste the same and the same uh, species. Okay. A uh, few of them are actually getting rotten, so I have to clear them out. So this is the first time I'm actually uh, uh, harvesting them, so I didn't know I had to provide some kind of a support to them so that the sand doesn't uh, touch them. So you can see there is like a little, it's not damaged, but uh, uh, they get a little harder over there. So next time I will take care of it. Yeah, this one is uh, ready to eat. And we use uh, them in curries. So this one. I will uh, uh, show you the other one. Yeah, see this? Uh, this is ready for harvesting. This is actually in a correct state to start consuming. Uh, these are actually quite good for health. A lot of water content in it. So you see, this is uh, cilantro. And they are like uh, trees, I would say. The reason why I say trees, they are like four feet high. And uh, the since I have left them alone, uh, they kind of uh, grown uh, um, good uh, in good strength. And uh, yeah, it's been almost I would say four months since I have uh, bought vegetables or uh, uh, these things from uh, vegetable markets. So you see the flowers; they're really uh, nice. I left them alone so that if um, once they start producing seeds, I can actually uh, reuse them for the next season. These are like uh, uh, my uh, chili plants. This time I had to uh, make sure that I have enough chili plants to uh, support uh, during uh, hot summer since it's coming, uh, it's al already on the way. So uh, in order to make sure at least uh, even if one, um, one uh, plant is actually producing few, uh, that should be uh, good enough to survive in during the hard summer usually the prices go really high uh, during summer because the harvest will be really down you can see the 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 over there yeah so what i was saying is like uh, e uh, this time i had make sure that i have uh, at least uh, 30 plants of uh, uh, these chilies uh, are ready so that uh, i can see through the whole summer and uh, not only these, uh, I have uh, good enough uh, uh, tomato plants this time and uh, at least I would say I'm actually getting um, uh, at least a pound, uh, pound of uh, uh, tomatoes or like uh, 450 to 500 grams of tomatoes uh, each day. I'm talking about each day's harvest. So that is uh, really good um, and uh, I think if I have a lot of harvest left uh, before the start of the summer, uh, at the heat wave so I think I should be able to survive sorry I it couldn't uh, notice that uh, my uh, camera uh, mode got changed next time I'll take care of it please like share and subscribe thank you